MMOGA, dein Gaming-Spezialist mit Kampfpreisen. Hallo Leute, herzlich willkommen zurück bei einer weiteren Folge Let's Play Game of Thrones mit ähm, der ersten Staffel aus der Spieleserie und wir begeben uns jetzt hier als Zofe, nein gar nicht wahr, als natürlich. Ähm, die Tochter aus dem Hause Forrester. Lady Mira. Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Natürlich, wir kennen die Gepflogenheiten. House Forrester is a House loyal to the King. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet? For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did name Joffrey as the one true King. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is, and I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. Was Tyrion ist der Meister der Münze? Ach ja, war ja damals. Okay. While in fact saying nothing at all. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. So, wir versuchen natürlich jetzt hier Cersei zu gefallen, denn ähm, wir kennen das Spiel, das Spiel der Throne. And they do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renny Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her marriage? <coughs> Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? 
Mm. I'm sure she Let would... the girl answer the question. Go on. Hast du jetzt getroffen? Nee, ich habe nicht getroffen. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, your grace. Irgendwie schaut Marjorie nicht ganz so begeistert rein. Aber sie hat doch gesagt, ich soll ne? alles sagen, was der Königin gefällt. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crown. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Well then, Lord Tyrion. Ja, wie auch in der Serie, ein äh, pfiffiges Gärtchen, der ja, versucht sein Spiel zu spielen. Und äh, ja, so ein bisschen Mira, I was worried. der Gegenpol allein kriegen. So, schauen wir mal weiter. Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. I'd rather not discuss it, if you don't mind. Of course not. It must have been horrible. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. And over in Martell, the Red Viper. Yeah, over in. He has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wise. Den kennen wir auch, den Dornish. Die Dornische Viper. Im Kampf gegen den Berg. Ohne zu viel zu verraten. 
Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I don't want to be queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. <laughs> Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Uh-oh. Well? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? <laughs> Definitiv. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Mm hmm. Your and Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind, something important. I. I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. I prefer to speak with you alone. Wir lassen sie wegschicken. Ask. I received a letter from my family. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. That is no small request, especially now. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks, and now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Spielen wir doch auch mal ein Spiel. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. So, die Bitte ist vorgetragen worden. Ähm, und ein bisschen äh, spielen wir jetzt auch gerade.
hier machen wir Stopp. Ein bisschen ähm, spielen wir jetzt auch gerade unser eigenes Spiel. Das finde ich gar nicht mal so schlecht. Natürlich ist äh, Mirror äh, Forrester... So, stellt er sich da ein bisschen naiv da und so. Und, und, und ich hatte erst überlegt, wollen wir dieser Naivität äh, freien Lauf lassen? Aber das wäre dann so ein bisschen Sansa-Style. Sansa -Style. Ähm, und ich dachte mir, nee, gucken wir doch mal, ob wir nicht noch irgendwie auch ähm, ja, unser, unser, unser Wesen nutzen können, um selber ein Spiel zu spielen. Und das hat auch äh, dialogmäßig eigentlich ganz gut geklappt. Ne? So irgendwie ähm, Margarie zu sagen, ja, nee, fürchte die Königin nicht, äh, Joffrey betet dich an, was soll da schon schief gehen, du bist die, auf die alle hören werden, wenn es dann soweit ist und äh, was interessiert dich an. Also ist schon ähm, witzig, wir spielen gerade in diesem äh, Spiel um den Thron, spielen wir auch eine interessante Rolle. Ich bin gespannt, ähm, ich habe auch meine Zweifel, ob Margarie das wirklich irgendwie hinbekommt, dass ähm, das Haus Bolton also Ramsay, äh, ja, eigentlich Snow noch, ne? oder? Oder ist er da schon wieder ein... Ich, oh nee, darf ja nicht zu viel verraten. Ähm, äh, ich glaube nicht, dass die aufgehalten werden. Ich, ich fürchte, die Familie Forrester wird in diesem großen Krieg, in diesem großen Spiel der Intrigen ähm, den Kopf verlieren. Aber das ist äh, nur eine Vermutung. Es kann natürlich auch anders kommen. Und äh, da bin ich eben gespannt, wie äh, sich das Ganze entwickeln wird. Ihr ähm, habt das Spiel vielleicht schon gespielt, ihr kennt es oder, äh, oder ihr habt es auf eine andere Weise gespielt und, und, und freut euch jetzt äh, daran zu sehen, was passiert, wenn ne, wir einen anderen Weg gehen. Durchaus äh, nicht uninteressant. Wenn ihr das Spiel gespielt habt, dann könnt ihr ja schon mal sagen, ja, an der Stelle habe ich es anders gemacht und... Ähm, Ändert aber nichts, am Ende kam ich auch da raus oder so. Das würde mich halt auch interessieren. Natürlich ohne genau auf die Details einzugehen. Danke fürs Zusehen, bis zum nächsten Mal, macht's gut, tschüss.